Please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. What is Asset Management? Asset Management refers to the management of all or part of a client's portfolio, which consists of financial assets such as stocks, bonds, commodities, currencies, as well as mutual, exchange traded and closed funds by a financial services institution, which is usually an investment bank or a brokerage firm or an individual investment dealer. These financial institutions offer investment services such as managing an investment account or fund or giving advice with respect to the investment or reinvestment of assets or funds along with a wide range of traditional and alternative products that may not be available to an average investor. Traditional products include savings account, home mortgage, certificates of deposit, personal loans, mortgage loans, etc. Alternative products include hedge funds, venture capital, private equity, non-traded real estate trust, commodities, as well as precious metals, rare coins, art, etc. Who is an angel investor? An angel investor is an individual who provides capital for small startups or entrepreneurs in exchange for convertible debt or ownership equity. Convertible debt is a type of bond that the holder can convert into a specified number of shares of common stock in the company. Ownership equity is the ownership of the assets subtracting the liabilities. They are also called as private investor, seed investor or angel funder. An angel investor uses his or her own money to invest. They generally want 20% to 25% return on the money they invest in the company. Typical sources of angel investors are family, friends, wealthy individuals, groups and crowdfunding groups angels are increasingly operating as a part of angel syndicate that is group of angels where individuals contribute funds to the syndicate and it is operated by a professional syndicate management whereas crowdfunding is an online investment group where large number of people invest small amounts What is Amalgamation? An amalgamation is a combination of two or more companies to form an entirely new entity, wherein the individual identity of the two companies vanishes and a new company is formed. The companies that are combined and which goes into liquidation are called transferor and the company which is formed is called transferee company. An amalgamation can be in nature of purchase or merger. When one company acquires the other where the transferor's business is discontinued, it is in the nature of purchase. In this, the shareholders of the transferor company no longer have a proportionate share in the combined entity. In the nature of merger, the companies combines the assets and liabilities including the interest of the shareholders as well as the business of the parties. The main objective of the amalgamation is to reduce the operational cost and avoid competition between themselves. What is after hours trading? The buying and selling of securities that happens after the trading day of a stock exchange is called after hours trading. After hours trading is done through electronic communication network that is ECN. There are generally few active traders in this period but this changes often. 
if there is a big economic news or something breaks about the company, if this happens the volume, which is the total number of shares or contracts exchanged between buyers and sellers of the security spikes. The benefits of this trading are convenience, high prices and trading on the fresh information before the market opens. The risks are less liquidity as there are less sellers and buyers during this time, there may be less trading volume for your stock, which in turn makes it difficult to cash these shares. Wide spreads As lower volume results in widespread between the ask and the bid price. Tough competitions For individuals as they have to compete against large institutional investors as they have more access to resources. Volatility As there are more price fluctuations at this hour than normal trading hours. What is absolute advantage? The principle of absolute advantage refers to the ability of an individual, company, region or a country to produce a greater quantity of a good or service or product than the competitors using the same amount of resources or produce the same amount of product using fewer resources or less time. The theory of absolute advantage was put forward by Adam Smith who said that Different countries enjoy absolute advantage in the production of some goods which forms the basis of trade. He first described this theory in terms of international trade using labor as the only input. The limitations of absolute advantages are labor is the only factor of production. The price of the product is expressed in the amount of labor spent on the production. Transportation costs are not considered. Assumes the price are comparable across countries. Implying stability of exchange rate. Country not having absolute advantage cannot gain. What is accounting rate of return? Accounting rate of return is the percentage rate of return expected on the investment asset as compared to the initial investment. It is also known as average rate of return. The key advantage of ARR is that it is easy to compute and understand. ARR is equal to average revenue during period divided by average investment. Average investment is equal to the book value at the beginning of the year plus book value at the end of the useful life divided by 2. Average revenue during period is equal to incremental revenue minus incremental expense that is including depreciation divided by initial investment. If the ARR is equal to or greater than the required rate of return, the project is acceptable. If it is less, it is rejected. The disadvantages of the ARR It disregards the time value of money or cash flows or risk from long-term investments. The ARR depends on the evaluation of profits and it can be easily manipulated with changes in depreciation methods. It also misleads when evaluating the investments of different sizes. What is annuity? An annuity is a contract between an individual and an insurance company in which the individual make a lump sum payment or a series of payments and in return receive regular payments either immediately or at some point in the future. This is a type of insurance or investment that entitles the investor to a series of annual payments. The goal of annuity is to provide steady stream of income generally during retirement. Funds accumulate over time on tax deferred basis and can be withdrawn without penalty 
only after the age of 59 and a half. Several aspects of annuity can be tailored according to the needs of the buyer. There are two types of annuity, immediate annuity and deferred annuity. An annuity that begins paying out immediately is called immediate annuity. An annuity that starts payments at a predetermined date in the future is called deferred annuity. The insurer can choose when they want to annuitize the payments, meaning when to start receiving the payments.